Good morning, ladies and or good at <clears throat> good noon, ladies and gentlemen, or basically morning to those of you who are waking up in different parts of the country. Today we are going to be doing another huge RMA collab. But just to uh, paraphrase, I have recently bought some RMA a month ago, and I was wanting to do that video, but uh, like I said, I wanted to take a little break, and it's already it's already been like pretty much a month or a few weeks a couple weeks since I did my video and this is a new video that is coming out to you to, for this October and yes there are going to be more videos this October because like I said I was going to do the Monster Monday series and I want you guys to stay tuned for something very interesting this afternoon, uh, stay tuned for something very interesting that's going to be happening for Arkans for the state of Arkansas this month. So, without further ado, let's get into the reviews and to the announcements. Okay, so first item we have, I got some stuff from Game Exchange back on September 11th of this year and I found some army figures here's a guy with a gas mask that you can remove and you can put it back on I think he's supposed to represent a Spetsnaz Russian soldier maybe looks really cool and then we have a few other soldier figurines A knight. And this is another soldier. Now you must be wondering why do I even collect these guys even though I don't play with them or show you or play with them. Well actually I do play with them but I haven't been playing with them recently but I'm collecting them because you know I think they're really cool plus I got guns and stuff for these guys and whenever I get a chance to like change my style I've always wanted to do stop motion but um stop motion I think is gonna be hard with these guys in particular but I'm just gonna be like doing like videos with them like doing battles and stuff when I get a chance and also when my room is finally finished and see what we can do from there um so I also have found a Star Wars But, uh, I completely forgot what battleship this is, but I know it's used with Darth Vader's army, and I need more, like, spaceships, kind of, for my galactic forces, and my galactic forces is a mix of, like, random things, robots, aliens, and even Star Wars figures, so that's why I got this, and I think it's really cool. I'm going to put this with my stuff. Okay, now we're going to move on with the stuff that I have. Oh, and I also found the Le Lego Harry Potter figure. This figurine is very unique, and I found him in a bin of toys that were like at ninety cents each. See, he's a uh, the brother from Harry Potter. If yeah, you see, he has a pigtail. I don't know if he. he hold on. Yeah, you see, he has a pigtail on his back, and he has a shark face. Now, I know that he's from Harry Potter, and I really truly want to use him as a civilian. And I'm just going to make it look like he has a Halloween costume where he plays as the brother from the movie. So, or he's obsessed with Harry Potter, and that's why he got the pigtail on his back. So, I think this would be great for my Legatopians. And now, as I was saying, we're going to move on to other things. So, also yesterday I went to... GameStop, and I have wanted to try out these new series of Iron Man, which is representing the Fallout game and TV show. This is the Fallout Army Men that they are selling currently, and I got the bag where they had like different types of soldiers, such as this guy. I don't, and to be honest, guys, for those of you who are Fallout fans, I have never seen Fallout, never played Fallout, but I am aware of it. I've seen the scenes of the show, and it looks pretty cool. I've seen clips, 
And I figured I might as well use these guys for my uh, futuristic army. Because they have futuristic looking weapons and materials. And the bag I have currently is a mix of gray and green. And even comes with robots. Like this. I don't know what it's actually called. But for those of you who are Fallout fans, maybe you know. And I just don't know. And here's another example of a robot right here. And I believe that this guy is a mutant or a warrior. But I'm going to probably use him as an alien or something along those lines. And then I got more types of soldiers. Which I find them really cool. And here's another example of a robot. So... I find them really cool, and I'm probably going to be using them for my galactic forces. And I found a guy with a gas mask on, so... And he has that futuristic look, so he looks pretty cool. Uh, that's the GameStop stuff. We're going to go ahead and move on to the stuff that I found at the MacArthur Military Museum. There are two bags of these. But I'm going to use one. And we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, there's 20 tan and 20 green soldiers here. I don't think you guys like me opening the bags and everything and also showing them to you. But I got two of them and I'm going to have to sort them out for my different countries, you know. And it's going to take forever. So I wanted to basically showcase them to you. So this is what they sell they there are five dollars at the MacArthur military museum of military history and then i also brought some tanks i got a green one here a dark green one looks brown and uh the turret moves when you move the wheels you can move it and it looks really cool it looks like a panzer tank because that's a machine gun right here and turret style is like a German tank but uh, either way it's really cool and then I have a tan miniature M1 Abrams right here and I'm gonna be using these for a different for another nation of mine so that is basically it of the armament f figures that I have but we're gonna go ahead and move on to the announcements for this month and I got something really really interesting to show you <clears throat> okay guys so the actual announcements are one next Monday is when Monster Mondays episode one will begin and like I said we'll be probably covering three different monsters or three different spooky creatures every monday and uh there's also a paranormal expedition being hosted at the douglas macarthur museum here in arkansas and the dates are from the, are from the beginning of the last week of october basically around halloween weekend and the timing that these events will take place is between nine o'clock in the evening till probably not or nine o'clock at night till 5 a.m and if you are willing to go and see for yourself or want to learn more you can find the website at um uh, douglasmacarthurmuseum.com or something like that and learn more and if you want to be wondering why or is there a paranormal expedition hosting at the Douglas MacArthur Museum, that's because it is haunted. And there are ghosts that are current. There are six ghosts. I only know of four. There's a ghost of a child, a ghost of a sergeant, a nurse, and the lady in white. Now, I'm probably going to be talking about these specific ghosts and a ghost of a 17-year-old 17 17-year-old 17 boy who was 
executed as a spy during the Civil War that has a personal object that belonged to him in the museum itself. But um, I'll talk about that later. But that is all I'm going to give for you. And yes, if you want to go on ghost investigations, I don't know if they're going to be allowing paranormal investigations, but if they are, I think it would be cool to try out. And if anyone who's willing and want to test their bravery, go right on ahead. But um, that's all I'm going to be information giving information to you. I think it's going to be fun. Uh, I um, don't know if I'm going to be... Uh, I really would like to do a video about the Paranormal Expo and everything and see what they do and whatever. But um, I don't want to invade people's privacy. So therefore, I probably won't be able to film. But I can only like film certain events and maybe basically do a special episode for Halloween. If I get Halloween off from my work. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but other than that, thank you for guys for watching. And be ready for the first episode of Monster Mondays.